So hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a, a moving platform inside Unreal Engine 5 um, typically used to create uh, platformer games so let's get started we'll be using a Kini asset pack which is free even for commercial use it is free and it's under a Creative Commons license and just choose the platformer kit right here and we just download the asset here and and while waiting, I will create a new project inside Iron Engine 5. I will choose the third person template and I'll use a blueprint and let's name the project. Okay, so we have our brand new project over here. Uh, as you can see, we have, the, uh, we have the third person character template. So I'll, I'll first um, create a new folder. Uh, let's call it any assets just drag and drop the assets that we have downloaded what else fbx format i will be using the um platform 45 fbx right here just import it and before we do anything else we have to check for collision just double click on it uh, we click on show simple collision but for now, I think I will um, remove all of the collision first by clicking on the collision and remove collision. And we add another one add box simplified collision. Now we are done with that part. We just have to create um, our actor blueprint. So right click on the content browser and click on blueprint class. Click on the actor here and let's name it BP underscore moving platform. Just double click on it and now we have to add a new static mesh. And I will choose the platform 35 and plug it right here. Okay, so let's test it out. Let's drag and drop the actor into the level. Okay, I think it's too small. I will increase the size of it to, let's say, 2. That should be good. Yeah, that should be enough for now. So now we have to create the moving logic here. And Unreal has given us um, a component for that. Yes, uh, add new component here. Let's make a type uh, in curve. To move, yeah, this one. So, as you can see on the detail panel here, we have our duration and control points. So, we will mess up with the settings later, but for now, I will rest this. Um, I will leave this for now and I will add a new control point. And the first one will be our uh, initial point, and the second one will be our target point. So, um make this up to let's say 100 and we'll play the game as you can see like uh, the platform moving from this location to this location so we can go to this detail panel again okay, and change the behavior type to ping pong let's see now uh, the platform moving moves back and forth every time so i will change the duration and we we'll let the player um, to control the duration and uh, points. Okay, so on the construction script here we can uh, create two new variables. Let's call it uh, duration. This will be of type float, and I'll be making this instance editable and exposed on its own. Okay, so I'll be drag and I'll drag and drop this instructor movement component. And I'll set the duration to our newly created version variable okay so we have to control point position and i will make it as zero and we have to add another one and this is our target location so we can create a new factor variable let's call it um target position and this will be of type factor 
instance editable show to reach up and expose on spawn i'll drag the target position into the position uh input pin here so click compile and now we can set the target position on the level on the map itself i'll set this to i'll set this to let's make it further away so let's click play <laughs> as you can see we haven't set the duration yet so it's very very fast okay so i will set the duration to five seconds oh and we have to clear the um clear the um the control points right here okay now uh, try to play it now as you can see like uh, the platform is moving towards the tar target position and it moves back into our initial position so i'll try to create another one so it will be more challenging hold control and move it around and we can rotate the platform and i will make it a little bit higher here and i think i'll set the target position to I'll make it vertically okay set to zero and now when we click play you can see a two platforms is moving uh two platforms are moving i'll try to oh it's pretty hard i guess <laughs> so i can change a little bit or we can make the the first platform uh, move upwards I think, I think the timing is bad but it does the job done i think that's it for this video i think i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, leave a like if you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe and yeah see you in the next video